this video tutorial I will cover methods supported by Bean Factory interface. Here you can see Bean Factory interface. Here you can see the interfaces which extends uh, Bean Factory interface. Here you can see the list of classes which uh, implements uh, Bean Factory interface. Here you can see the methods uh, supported by Bean Factory interface. We will see how to use these methods using uh, one sample program. Here I have defined the class uh, employee. It has uh, name property and uh, setter method for uh, name property and it has uh, employee details method. This is a Spring configuration file. Here we have mentioned employee object should be created by Spring container and name property should be set as uh, Peter and uh, using this ID from Spring container we can get the employee object. Here I have defined the class uh, app I am running this program in uh, debug mode. Here I am creating a bean factory object by reading a spring configuration file. Then I am calling a get bean method of a bean factory object and passing the bean id. Bean id I am passing as employee which is configured in spring configuration file. This method returns uh, object. Then I am typecasting uh, object to employee object. Then I am calling uh, employee details method of uh, employee object. This is the first way of getting uh, employee bean from spring container. Here I am calling uh, get bean method of uh, bean factory object and uh, passing uh, bean id as uh, employee and uh, employee dot class. This method directly return uh, employee object. We no need to typecast uh, object to employee object like uh, first method. Here I am calling uh, get bean method of uh, bean factory object and uh, passing uh, employee dot class. This method returns uh, employee object and uh, this is the third way of getting uh, employee bean from uh, spring container. Then I am calling uh, contains bean method of uh, bean factory object and passing bean id as employee. This method will check whether employee bean is available in spring container or not. If it is available in spring container, this method will return true, else it will return false. Employee bean is available, so we got true. Then I am calling is singleton method of bean factory object and passing bean id as employee. This method will check whether employee bean is singleton or not. If employee bean is singleton, it returns true, else it will return false. Employee bean is singleton, so we got true. Singleton means spring container always returns same instance. Then I am calling uh, is prototype method of uh, bean factory object and uh, passing uh, bean id as employee. This method returns true if uh, employee bean is uh, prototype, else it will return false. And uh, employee bean is uh, not prototype, so we got uh, false. Prototype means spring container always returns independent instances.
if you want to know more about uh, bean factory then uh, go to this uh, documentation